everybody, and welcome back to this week's we're episode back. of Fuck Easy Food Prep. God, it's been so long. Too long. How many months has it been? Oh, Have we like been off? 10 weeks, 12 weeks or something? Yeah, really? Months, like three months or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. obviously we couldn't do it because of the restrictions and now they've lifted it, lifted them. Um, and yeah, Mel can come over. She stayed over last night. Winston slept in her bed. He still didn't loves he? me. No, he loves, he loves, he loves <laughs> his auntie Mel. So yeah, we're just... I don't re- know why I torment him all the time. <laughs> Give him extra food. He yeah. probably likes that. Um, yeah, we just we're so happy to be to be back. We really loved doing mm. fucking food prep, and we've, we've we've really put our thinking caps on and and come up with some really good recipes today. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? Yeah. Like yep. I feel like this one's going to be a winner. This is going to be the best. Yeah. yeah. I mm. love. I really love a good baked cheesecake, but it's mm. really it's hard to find cheese cream cheese mm. that doesn't have any shit in it. Yeah. And you can also make it with ricotta, but I'm like, oh, it's really hard to get ricotta unless you make your own. But I was at Aldi on the weekend and I found this great um, cream cheese that has no nasties in it. No it's shit, brilliant. Yeah. It's called. Um, it's just what's the brand? Alpine. Alpine, Alpine. Emporium Selection or something. Mm. Anyway, you can. It Aldi. Says, yeah. <laughs> oh, someone, I posted on my story, someone's like, what the hell is Alpine milk? <laughs> I'm like, milk from the Alpines. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's made in Germany, actually. So, yeah, it's only got, um, where's the ingredient? Salt, cultures, and, non, and uh, non-animal rennet. If you can, it's always best to get animal rennet, but, you know. It's Germany. Yeah, you have no, if you have no issues with non-animal rennet, go for it. Like I've got cheeses in the fridge that have non-animal rennet. Mm. So really is always test, um, test and measure. And usually it'd have a biscuit base, um, but there's just no biscuits that don't have a whole heap of shit in them. So what we've done instead is we've made a macadamia nut base. And usually I would say don't eat a lot of nuts, but if you're going to eat any nuts, macadamia is the best mm. because they have the lowest amounts of um, digestive inhibitors and anti-nutrients and also the lowest amount of polyunsaturated fats. So again, it's, it's something that I'd probably eat occasionally. It's not something that I'd have every single day in my diet, but this is a great alternative to just your standard cheesecake without any of the nasty shit in it, hey? Mm-hmm. Which is so good. So um, start by preheating the oven. We've got the oven underneath us to 140 degrees. We have two ovens, I never knew that. That's very good, isn't it, when we're <laughs> trying to make two episodes of fucking easy food prep. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna start with the, so you start with the base. So Mel, how much nuts is this? How much that macadamia is? That is one cup of nuts. Cool, and macadamia nuts. rice flour? 120 grams of rice flour. Brown sugar. Six tablespoons of brown sugar. And, and butter. F- between 55 and 60 grams of butter. I'm just going to plug in the, um, well, y- you would use a food processor, but we don't have a food processor, so we're just going to use the blender. Um, so you can either use the food processor or the blender. Let me just get the base. Um, yeah, let's do the nuts first, yeah? Yeah, so we just, you pour the nuts in like this, so. And you're just going to blend, whiz, whiz them up. Whiz them so up. So basically what we're going to do is make the base first. And get one of these, show the, the tin melt. It's got like the base in the bottom that you can press out um, so that when you, after you've baked it, all you have to do is open up the tin and it'll just mm. come off. So just really grease that really well. So we're just gonna like, good sorry. Good butter. Good butter. Sorry about the noise. We're just gonna. I think that's probably, yeah, pretty, pretty good, Gee, hey? That's a good one. Yeah. Ninja. Let's just see if that. Because what we're going to do, oh, there we go, that seemed to work. Gee, that blended really quickly, didn't it? Um, There's actually a few, maybe we give it one more blend, do you think? There's a few bit of chunky chunky. bits, yeah. Yeah. We'll just blend that up again. One more. One more. That's so good. That's good, eh? I think a food processor probably would be better, but... Just trying to get those little ones. I think that's close enough. I've got it. So just sort of blend that up till it's quite um, quite fine. Um, yeah, Mel was saying that she just spent a whole day crying the other day, didn't you, Mel? <laughs> well, tell, tell everyone about that. <laughs> can... Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> well, but on a serious note, I think the isolation, yeah, hey. Absolutely. Your head? Yeah, it, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, well, it's been quite a few weeks and I, I thought I was doing pretty okay in, you know, this time of, I mean, I've, I've seen people, but not, not as much. I haven't been as adventurous out exploring and, you know, as social as I Obviously, usually Obviously, given what's have going been. on. Yeah. Um, now, we're just going to pour the other ingredients in there and blend it. <laughs> Sorry. While Mel tells the rest of her story. So sugar. 
keep going. Sorry. Um, so I, I thought I'd, I'd actually been doing pretty good because I like my own company too. I really, I learned over how. the years to <laughs> like my own company because I'm awesome. Um, so I thought I was doing really, really well and till the other day, because things are starting to go back to normal now and I was like, oh, this is awesome, you know, and I, I spent one whole day last week just crying, just bawling my eyes out. And so she thought that people didn't like her and I said, I thought well. everybody hated me. <laughs> She's like, well, <laughs> blend that up. Okay, so we're just going to blend the rest of the ingredients quickly. So it's just sort of giving it a bit of a... So it's the only thing with the butter, with this, like a, it would actually be better in a food processor because yeah. of, of the... Um, Sticking. Yeah, it gets a bit, a bit, a bit stuck. So, you know, mm. so we might have to just, spoon. yeah, get the spoon in. So it probably is better if you can do it in Maybe a food processor could. or... We could um, rub it together. That's rub a good it. idea. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. See, we're pretty resourceful, aren't we? We are. So Mel's just gonna while well, she tells her story. We're just gonna do this the old <laughs> man, the, the manual way. The manual so just way. if the you don't, way. if you don't have a food processor, oh, this is gonna be good. Just like rub it together until you get it to the consistency yeah. that you want. Um, yeah. So yeah. anyway, yeah. Um, I spent the whole day crying, thinking that um, everybody hated me. I don't know why. And then I started um, beating myself up because I was like, Mel, this is not you. You're not an insecure person. You know, why are you torturing yourself like this? And it just ended up being like a big spiral of emotions that just got out of control all day until I went and connected with somebody and saw them. And they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? No one hates you. You idiot. But I'm, I'm so like, I, I'm like a robot, you know, when, because I've been through some hard shit and I've got to where I am today and completely changed my life, I kind of think every time something goes wrong or I get upset, I always tell myself, like, cut the shit, you know, get your shit together, you know, this is not who you are anymore, you know, and I'm quite hard on myself and I'm quite robotic. My son says that to me all the time, you know, you look a fucking robot, mum. Shut um, up, B. Yeah. <laughs> shut up, <mate. laughs> but, um, a, a, But I come to the conclusion that it's okay to have bad days, you know? Mm -hmm. It's okay to cry. and It doesn't matter how much you have your shit together, every day is not going to be perfect. No. Right? Um, and you still have to allow yourself to cry. And, totally. You know, be mad sometimes. And, I'm just gonna blend this a bit more. You know, it's, it's, it's part of life and it's part of growing too. I think the problem is, is like, and a lot of women do this, and I used to do it too, is you, like medicate, like you try and mm. run away from the feelings and you, yeah. it's either with, um, num so numbing, you're numbing, yeah. either with food, with alcohol, with drugs, prescription drugs. And that's what I would have done in the past. Same. Gone, got pissed, got high. Um, Same. Because that would have made me feel better yeah. for a few hours, hours or that day or and the then next you, day next day if I kept yeah. binging, and, you know, like. Uh, I'm just going to blend this in two sets. I think what we'll do is we'll just mix it. If you don't have a food processor, just blend it obviously and then we'll just yeah, mix it with is, your look at this yeah, is. A bigger, bit bigger bowl, you can mix it all together. Um, yeah, I think that's, and so many women, like they just, it's use alcohol or food as a yeah. crutch instead of actually facing and just allowing yourself, I think, hey, to yeah. Well, I, feel. I would have always gone and got high or drunk, but now I, I'm just able to go through the motions. You know, if I mm. feel like crying, I'm just going to cry. I'm not going to go and find something that's, you know, going to... Destructive, yeah. to numb the feelings. Or, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm and it's gonna okay. I'm just going to it out. Yeah. Do you look how much you've grown? I know, right? <laughs> Nobody hates me. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I come here. <laughs> it's interesting, this whole isolation thing, like, you know, Craig and I, and we often talk about it with you and, you know, like... We talk about this all the time, sex, and we talk about sex in our program too, because a lot of women come with no sex drive. And, um, you know, I think after you've been with someone for quite a lot, like Craig and I have been together nearly six years now, and, like, we just often will get so sucked back into our old, like, we, our, when I say old, was we're so passionate about our business mm. and, like, we just don't give enough time to each other and place enough emphasis on trying to, like, have sex. Yeah. You know, you just get stuck in these routines and you get tired and... You know, like even the, with the isolation too, we've been a bit like boxed in and then fighting and then not having mm. sex and it's just this big spiral and you really have to work on it. 
Yeah. Like you really have to, Mel's always giving coaching to the women in the program about sex. And, you have to and have it, sex. Yes, it's good yeah. in, in any relationship. <laughs> but you can see how it gets after like years, you really do have to work on it. Yeah, like you have to yeah. try with anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Any, any relationship, well anything, even yourself, you know, you have to keep oh, working totally on Oh, totally working at it. Every yeah. single day. You're never going to get to the point where it's like, okay, well, I'm going to stop working. Yeah, I'm good now. Because I'm yeah. good. Like, it's never going to happen. And it's okay, I think, like, you can slip back into old habits, but being aware and then... So we're going to push this into the, um, into the, this tin now. Mel's just going to, like, press it flat. Oh, this is going to be so good. I like mm. the consistency. Yeah, it's going to be good. Do you need something to press yeah. it with or your hands is good? Fine. Yeah. Just to make it even. Will it be even? It'll be. <laughs> Okay. I up, really missed yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm going to, um, yeah, I think, you know, like people like, like look at people, don't, not everyone's as honest as us, I don't think, but no one's life is perfect and people have your ups and downs, you know, like obviously this whole thing's affected our business and our mm. life and, you know, it's, it's, um, but you know, then again, you know, I look at what's going on in America and like, yeah. I think just the fact that we were like born in Australia and born to good parents and you know like I'm very grateful for that yeah. every day you know and I think you, you just have to just roll with it sometimes but yeah. just don't don't numb don't numb I think that's what too yeah. many women do and don't yeah. don't um always reach out to I found yeah. that because yes. I hadn't seen you guys for several that's good. months that I felt really disconnected from Craig and Kitty for well, several I really months. hate her so I'm like was happy that she was coming <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding <laughs> <laughs> this is how we are. <laughs> so we're just going to mix this. So that's all pressed in now. So we've got um, three quarters of a cup of caster sugar here. Um, the, rind, it's the rind of one lemon, like finely grated. Um, two tubs of this sour cream. So it's not sour cream, sorry. Um, two tubs of the cream cheese. cream cheese from Audi. Audi. Love Audi. Love Audi. And then we've got three quarters of a cup of light sour cream. And we're going to put a teaspoon of vanilla extract in. We're just going to blend it all and then put it on top and then bake it in the oven. So it's a pretty easy recipe. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so always reach out to if you're feeling lonely yeah. and if you feel, you know, if just disconnected. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Because I think too, sometimes don't you reckon you can, like, and I do this sometimes, I'll have these dumb stories going on in my head and if I let them keep going, they just spiral and then yeah, I just yeah. think even more and more stupid shit. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, snap out of it. Yeah. Like you just... You create scenarios yeah. in yes. your head that have never happened and yeah. probably most likely yeah. will never, ever happen. Yeah. Oh, totally. I know, it's I just funny. I actually had a lady reach out to me the other day through Instagram. Um, just, she's like, oh, hi, you don't know me, but Kitty said to message you. Oh, yeah. Because she, 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 she was drunk one night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she messaged me, she's like something about her partner not wanting her and I was like, you know who you should message. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, Mel. <laughs> we had a great conversation. We talked for Did about Did you give us some hour. good advice? Excellent. Oh, good one. Yeah. 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 I knew you'd be able to help her. Yeah. yeah. Any advice you need on sex? Yeah, I'm come to Mel. <laughs> <laughs> My son's probably watching this yeah, going, going, cringe, I don't, Mum. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> but I think, you know, a lot of people like, you know, and this is again a bit of an overshare, but you know, oh well, people will know. Like, I feel like you and Craig are very adventurous in the bedroom, mm. and like I'm not as adventurous. But being with Craig, he's really pushed the made me push the boundaries, but in a safe and comfortable yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. And I think you know, like, I think about myself and how I was with other men, and I just never truly loved someone, and I wasn't truly mm. comfortable in myself, so I couldn't let go. Yeah. And I think yes. a lot of women would feel like that because we yeah, don't absolutely. like, you know, you don't you feel a bit. Um, embarrassed mm. or scared. Mm. You feel scared yeah, to yeah. be. I'm yeah. still probably will never be as adventurous as Mel and Craig, but I try, don't I? I Craig, try. Craig's like here, but I'm. Yeah, like Mel's here. like yeah, and then Kitty's down here. And Kitty's down here. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have to. Um, it's really important to be so in, tune teaspoon. With, in tune yeah. with your own body as well. Yes. When it comes. So knowing to, what um, you like. Yeah, intimacy yeah. and and not being afraid to communicate that. Oh, with, totally. With your husband or yeah. your, your, you know, your partner or your girlfriend or whoever, you know. Um, that's what intimacy intimacy mm. is all about, communication, care. Yep, it's been in a safe space. Yeah. I think too, like after a while, like you've been together five, six years, it's a bit boring, like it's never like it was. So you do have to try and like spice it up a little bit, otherwise it's just like, nah. mm. I'm just going to mix this all together with a little hand beater. I'm just going to wash my hands. Yeah, and you can obviously, you don't need a hand beater. I just think invest in a little hand beater, they're 30 bucks. And you'll use it heaps for um, 
you'll use it for, oh shit, I forgot the eggs. God, that would have been bad if we put in the oven with no eggs. And three eggs, sorry guys. Um, that'll, otherwise it won't set. But yeah, I think you just have to, otherwise it's just boring, isn't it really? Yeah. And like, I think when you don't have sex, like, you just don't feel connected. Like, I don't feel connected yeah, to Craig. Absolutely. Mm. And men love sex. Oh, they sure do, don't they? Okay. <laughs> the return investment on oh, sex I is know. incredible. It is, it's yeah. true. Like, Craig's so much better. Yeah. More helpful. Yeah. 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 They're nicer to you. They'll yeah. Be your slave for a week around yeah. the house. Yeah. That's so funny. Ten minutes every couple of days. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's so funny. Scrape down the outside. Mm. That looks good, eh? Mm -hmm. You have to wait till it's like thickened. Nah, I just we'll put it in the oven and bake it. Maybe I wasn't supposed to blend it, but I think it'll be fine. Because the baked one. Good, oh, cheesecake. Does it taste yummy? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. You didn't put right. nutmeg on the top? Mm. Like a proper cheesecake? I think, like, I think this is more like a New York cheese. I think you should have, if, if this is a New York cheesecake, you'd have strawberries or raspberries. I'm like, this would just be plain. And you can obviously put whatever you want on there. You can put some fruit. Mm -hmm. God, you could really do anything, mm -hmm. hey? So we're just going to pour this on the top. Perfect. And then you're going to bake, place it in the oven um, at 140 degrees for fan forced for an hour. So let's look at what the time yeah. is now. So it's 12.09, so 1.09, so here, you, you want to put it in? Don't let it... Wouldn't yeah. it be funny if yeah, it wasn't Yeah, fuck, I know. Alright. So, we'll see you guys in an hour for the finished product. Yay. Welcome back. It has actually been an hour and 15, so look, I think between an hour to an hour and 15 on um, 140 degrees in a fan force oven. It's like, basically you just want it to be set, so nice and firm. Um, I'll just uh, lift it up, yeah, just careful it's hot. Ah, it's hot. Careful, darling, you, <laughs> you idiot. So if you can see that, it looks really nice. So what, we'll just mm. let it cool. So let it cool completely, and then just, you can flip that open and lift it off. Um, yes. And it'll be ready. And I'm like, I think we've just done a really good job there, Mel. See how it's coming away, actually. Look, yeah. it's coming away. Maybe we should just do it now so we can have a look. Oh, there we go. See how it's just sprung. Look at that. <gasps> ah, that looks great, hey? Yeah. Perfect. So just let that cool. Um, and then you can obviously remove the base. And mm. there you Eat are. It. Yeah, I actually think what you should do is probably tip it onto a plate. Like you tip it over like that, and then you can remove the base. <laughs> I think. So maybe you can put this. You know back. what we mean. Yeah, like if do you, you do. Want to attempt yeah. It? But I think maybe once it's cool. Oh, that's not going to sit on there tight now. Actually, it's okay. That'd be fine. But you could just um, put a plate and then flip it over, and then just lift the plate off, um, and then put it back. So that's probably an easier way for people that yeah. actually do this yeah. all the time. But that's actually Very turned out really nice, mm. don't you think? Yeah. It looks yeah. Great. Yeah. I'm taste it now too. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, just let it cool and stick it in the fridge. And you could serve it with cream or fruit or mm. anything, really. I think it'll be just amazing. But um, yeah, next week, uh, it's interesting, Mel and I was having a conversation about men. And um, Bob, she's got this. Anyway, next Bob. week, you're going to hear about Bob. Bob. And, uh, <laughs> you know, are you a woman who can have casual sex? Ooh. It's an interesting topic for next time. People are like, this is a cooking show, why are you talking about sex? But you'll see next week. Because sex is great and we need it, to have it. It is, it is, it is. And I think too many mm -hmm. relationships, you know, Craig and I go through stages where we're just bad at doing it. Um, <laughs> but anyway. I'll help you, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, enjoy the cheesecake and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.